guys, it's Sarah from Sarah Lou Yoga here. Um, welcome to a sequence of bite-sized videos uh, that I'm going to do, um, not lasting longer than 15 minutes, so these can easily be fitted in to your day. Just quick little pick-me-ups using yoga. So all you'll need is your mat for this one, so come and join me when you are ready. <laughs> back to the 80s but my legs are feeling really cold today it's quite cold outside so make sure you are in something comfortable come to the top of your mat spread the toes start to connect to the floor through your feet and as you connect to the floor find those four corners of the feet big toe mound little toe mound in and out of heel and just start to distribute your weight as evenly as you can. So this sequence is just going to be based on sun salutations, okay? And the beauty about sun salutations is that they really do work your whole body. They're going to boost your heart rate. They're going to strengthen and stretch and, you know, give you some mobility work as well. So let's bring our arms down, connect to the breath. Mm, the beauty of this, because it's breath and movement, is going to help give your mind a break as well, which is the wonderful magic of yoga. So if you are familiar with Ujjayi breath, let's get it going now. So you're closing the back of the throat, creating that little Darvada noise. And that's just going to help with the calming, um, calming part of this sequence. All right, so with your next inhale, let's reach up high. Exhale, first one, really bend the knees generously. We want to use the first couple to warm up. Take an inhale, find your halfway lift. And then exhale, let's step back into a plank pose, drop in the knees. Take a moment to start to fire up your arms by clawing the mat, pushing the floor away, hugging the backs of the arms towards one another, and then lengthen that tailbone, gently draw the hips in and up, find that connection with the core. Take an inhale and then as you exhale just bend the elbows, move the chest slightly forward to bring you to the floor, release the toes. Inhale, reach the chest forward, squeeze the inner shoulder blades together, loop the outer shoulder blades towards your armpits, coming up to a very baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale and exhale two more times. So we take our time with the first one, just trying to warm up the body. Take an inhale and as you exhale, take it to the front, forward fold, bend the knees generously again. Inhale, root to rise, let's bring it up. Reach up through the sides of the waist, get some space between the hips and the ribs, and then exhale to the start. Okay, here we go, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Keep a bend in the knees if you need to, and start to straighten them a little if it feels okay. Exhale, plank pose, knees down. Lower to the floor, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, down dog. We've got three breaths here again. So you can pedal it out. Be as creative as you want. Last breath here. Okay, wait for your exhale, step it to the front, 
Inhale, coming up. Using the backs of your legs, your glutes, reach up high. Exhale, press the air away. And again, inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank and lower. Inhale. Take that baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. So start to speed it up a little bit. But you've still got three breaths in our dog. And we're going to stick with three breaths in our dogs because we're going to start to, you know, add in some bits. Now we're warming up. Last breath. All right, inhale. Exhale, step it to the front. Exhale, fully. Inhale, come on up, reach up high. And exhale, down. Okay, we can start to play now. We're getting a little bit warmer. So inhale up. Let's take a side bend. Exhale to the left. So you can grab the right wrist with the left hand. Pull yourself up towards the opposite corner of the ceiling and really root down through that right foot. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Okay, we can start to straighten the legs, get a little bit more stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. You choose whether to keep the knees on the floor or come into a full plank. Lower down, finish that exhale. And then inhale, a deeper cobra if you want to. Exhale, down facing dog. And for this one, on your inhale, we're going to uh, wave it forward into a plank. And then exhale, come on back. And again, rain it forward. So I want you to really curl the tailbone down and pull the pubic bone towards the ribs so you can really feel the core engage. One more time, inhale. Use the glutes as well by curling them down towards the floor, reaching back through the inner and outer heels. Exhale, take an inhale, and then exhale, step it to the front. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, press the air away. Okay, and again, inhale up. Let's take that side bend again. Maybe you can take it a little bit deeper this time. Inhale. And then exhale. To the right. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank and lower. Drop down to cobra or add an upward dog. See what feels good today. Exhale, down facing dog. Okay, inhale, and then exhale, just take the heels to one side, push both hips back in space, feel that connection with your side body, inhale, centre, and then exhale, take it to the other side, inhale, and then exhale, so we're actually going to add a breath in for this round. Oops. All right, okay, inhale, center, and then exhale, step or hop to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, and then inhale. Come on up, exhale, lower. All right, and again, inhale. Exhale, take it to the left of your side bend. Inhale. And really lengthen out your breath as much as possible. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank and lower. Cobra, up dog. Exhale, down the facing dog. Okay, three breaths here. We're going to do a little um, tricep 
dip kind of exercise. So with your next exhale, make sure you don't collapse anywhere, just bend the elbows, see if you can land the forearms and then push up and back. And again, two. Last one. Lower. Inhale. Exhale, jump. Oh, step it forward. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, down. Well done. Inhale up. Exhale, take it into a side bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. This is going to be our last round. Inhale. Exhale. Step it back and lower. You do you. Whatever feels good. Exhale. Down the face and go. Okay, and then you choose what you want to do for this round, whether you want the rolling planks, the heel drops, or the little tricep push-ups. So we've got three breaths here. Or you can just hold your dog, that's absolutely fine. Step or hop. Root to rise. Exhale, press the air away. Okay, take an inhale, come on up. Exhale, let's take the side bend one more time. And over to the left, right. Exhale, let's take a chair pose. Five breaths, really start to cook now. Hopefully you're nice and awake and your body feels like it's moved. Sit back as much as you can. Hug the inner thighs in, press the outer thighs away. Really get those legs working for you. Inhale, exhale. Bent knee, forward fold, ragdoll. Relax your head. It's going to become very, very heavy. Back of the neck long. Use the support from the ground to drive energy up your legs so that you can just let your back really melt. Keep your breath nice and smooth. Enjoy that rush of blood to the head. Okay, who needs a cup of coffee, eh? Okay, from here we're going to come into Gorilla. So place your hands underneath your feet and try and get your toes to meet the wrist creases. And the beauty of this stretch is that not only do you continue to stretch the back line of your body, but it's giving your hands, palms a massage and your wrists a beautiful stretch. So if you've been working, you know, at your laptop or keyboard, this, this is going to feel really, really good. So with your next inhale, lengthen the chest forward, scoop the lower belly in so your core is protecting you. And then as you exhale, roll the inner legs towards the back of your mat. So imagine you're squeezing a block and you're trying to get the block behind you. And then bend the elbows and push the feet into the palms, the palms into the feet. Three more breaths here. release come 
down to the floor. I'm just going to do one more stretch and then we're done. So just bring your hands behind you and just push up through the hips just to get a stretch in the front body. Hug the plug the elbows into the socket, press the triceps back towards the back of your mat, press into the tops of your feet to help you push and lift the hips a little bit more. Scoop your tailbone towards the backs of the knees, get that engagement in the glutes to help you open up through the front. And then lower down, super duper, well done. Come into a kneeling or a sitting position and just take stock. Five more breaths here, just let what you've done wash over you. Super job. Okay, so you don't need a lot of time to get a little boost of energy and some movement, some productive movement in your body. So I hope you're feeling more awake, more vibrant, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat. Mm -hmm.